Okay. So again, this is not new information. We went over there. So if you guys remember when we did chapter six, we did flood lighting calculation and we defined the formula. <clears throat> this is called the average average rule, the average rule of doing flood light calculation in a parking lot. And we said if you have light and you know how many lights, number of lights, lumens, multiplied by the absorption of utilization, multiplied by uh, um, beam utilization, um, coefficient of beam utilization, uh, light and multiplied by lamp lumen depreciation factor, uh, lumen derf depreciation factor, all this, divide by the area, that will give you the average foot candle, the average foot candle in a floodlight. Can I have a thumbs up chat for this? I haven't tested you on it, but we have done that. You don't have to write this one. We have done it. I've done that. This is called the average method. Okay? That's chapter six. We've done that, and we took an example about it, guys. Uh, the average method. Here's the example. Oops. Uh, we've done... We, we've done how to calculate the, the uh, lumen, the coefficient of utilization, lumen hitting the surface, divide by lumen emitted from the fixture. And we took an example. We took an example, guys, based on <clears throat> coefficient of beam utilization. And we plugged all the numbers uh, on an area, and we found 40 by 40. We found it's a 1.5 foot candle. What I would like you guys to understand, this is called the average method. The average method. Can I have thumbs up? That's it. The average method, Chad. Now, chapter seven, we've done, oops, chapter seven, my friends, talks about, here's the average method. Chapter seven talks about point to point method. There are two calculations for lighting, guys. Can I have, can I get you to understand there are two calculations? One is the average method, which I care less about what the foot candle right at the top of Brian's head. I only care about what's the average in this room. It doesn't give you the minimum, the maximum, the average to minimum, all this stuff it doesn't give you at all, right? That's the one that we did in chapter six. This one is point to point method, which is you're familiar with this. Does this look familiar to you? That you take the candela power, multiply it by cosine, cubed um, angle, multiply it by all sort of factors, and also divided by the square of the height, and that's what you get. So this is called exactly like we did in the same method that we did guys before this is called point to point method so let me just draw a little bit that's it that's the whole chapter if you have a, a lighting fixture here lighting fixture here and i only want to find the foot candle right at this point right at this point and this is my angle q okay typical right at this point okay um for a for a particular fixture for a particular fixture here's the formula foot candle equal candela power multiplied by cosine q to the power three divided by nav uh, um, uh, nav dirt factor and uh, lumen um lld is uh, lumen what's lld lumen lamb lumen depreciation factor thank you lamb lumen depreciation all these factors divided by the square of the the height of the fixture Okay, so this is the only example I want to talk about, guys, about the foot, the floodlight in terms of point-to-point -point calculation. Take this. For, for angle 65, this, the example that we're taking, the example that we're taking here, assuming that Q equal, Q equals 65 degrees. Okay, I picked a 65. Can you guys see that? At 65, from the, from the book, from our book, remember that? chart that we were looking at, you can have a 386 foot candle out of this fixture. Multiply by cosine the fixture raised to the power three, multiply by these two factors, divided by the height of the fixture 30, that will get you a 0.18 foot candle. Can I have thumbs up chat? We know how to do that. The reason why I don't want to do it, we do it again because we have done that. One more time, when you do floodlights, you're gonna do two methods. One method is the average, and here's how you do it. The average method is piece of cake. Um, here's the average method. Number of lumens multiplied by the uh, uh, lumen, by the beam utilization factor, coefficient of utilization, all these derating factors divided by the area. Can you guys see how they're different? This one is divided by the area. When you do it, now the second method, the second method, my friend, it's called point to point method. Point to point method is the same method that you and I have done before on chapter four and chapter three before. So um, you find the angle, you have to have the isometric curve for that particular fixture. 
Otherwise, good luck finding it. So, for example, a 65, uh, certain basic flood lighting calculation. Um, this one is coming from, let me just put uh, 6.1. This is um, the whole picture is coming from big 6.1 page. Um, if you guys want to follow with your friend chat, 59. So if you guys go, please go to 59, pick 6.7, the angle is 65. Can anybody read at angle 60, 65, what's the candela power? The candela power is 3,867. 3, a lot of candela power. These are floodlights, a lot of candela power. Okay, everybody can see guys, that table that they're using, same table we used in chapter four, I believe. Same, I mean, same, similar table, not the same table, similar table. If I ask you, which I wouldn't, if I ask you to find the candela power at angle, another angle right here, and another angle right in here at this point, and this angle is, uh, let's just pick an angle of, uh, of 45, if, an angle of 45, 45 degrees. Cool? If I ask you to find it at 45, what do you do? The first thing, the candela power at 45 is 3,168, multiplied by cosine 45 raised to the power 3 times the same derating factor 0.8 and 0.7 divided by the same height of the picture. I need a thumbs up chat, we know how to do that. Okay, so that's basically what we've done this formula before. The only difference is this is coming from FIG 6.1 page 59. Any comments guys, any questions about floodlight point to point calculation? Floodlight point to point calculation. That's it. If you read through this chapter, that's basically what this chapter is. Um, so that's, this is chapter, okay, floodlight, so we got that one, 6.1, okay. How to use coefficient utilization factor, floodlight. So any question guys about this chapter? Can I have a thumbs up? We're cool with this. If you go to chapter eight, chapter eight is um, floodlight average method, which is basically um, average maintained floodlight method. The average method in a vertical, on a vertical surface, let's just see the area, and uh, here's the, okay, the lumen, coefficient realization, divided by the area. Okay, so if you go to chapter, so chapter A, chapter 7 was point to point, we know what the formula is, the only thing you need to do, and I, I will clarify, guys, when you do the calculation, ask you, do point to point calculation for the following, then you use this formula. If I, I want you to do the average, I would say find the average, and then you use this formula. Two formulas, one average and one what? Point to point, cool? So these are my point to point and average, and all these things I will give it to you. Okay, now when we go to chapter seven, and chapter eight, uh, chapter eight, the same thing guys, use curves for floodlight vertical surfaces, vertical surfaces. This is the only difference is vertical surfaces. Remember how we did the vertical surfaces for this? Um, we can do the point-to-point -point method at the vertical surface. We can do the point-to-point -point method, which I didn't test you guys, but I went over point-to-point -point calculation. We found the distance, right? I don't think it was, I um, can't remember if it was in this chapter or another chapter. Okay, here's the point-to-point. -point. Okay. Um, all right, floodlight. All right, so we get that one, get that one. Okay, this one, if you have a billboard and you want to let this billboard, not, you know, it's just a billboard that says, welcome to Dunwoody or whatever, Minneapolis, and you want to throw a light to shine at it. How do you calculate the foot candle on this billboard? Can I have a thumbs up, Chad? This is what this chapter talks about. Very simple, very simple. Let's start with the, the end, start from the end. Here's the formula that you need. Lumens multiplied by coefficient of B realization multiplied by 
CU divided by the area, divided by the area, exactly like you do it on a, on a vertical. The vertical, uh, the average method, exactly like you do it on, on, on a, a vertical or a, a horizontal. So let's go here. Here's, let's just go see what we have here, guys. We have a, a, an area of, I have a billboard of 10 feet by 20 feet. Cool? Right here, 10 feet by 20 feet. I have a, a beam, a coefficient to beam utilization of 25%, which is 0.25. Can I have thumbs up, Chair? 0.25. I have the watts coming out of this baby is 150. Lumen is 16,000. It's a flood light for, for a billboard. Coefficient to utilization 0.8. The derivative factor is 0.9. The, um, um, what do you call it, the uh, MF is the, MF is the factor, the guard factor, or maintenance factor, guard factor is 0.7. All these factors are given to you. And what I need to do, my friends, is I need to find the average method for this floodlight, the average method for this floodlight. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? Very simple, guys. Here's what you do. You take the square foot of the billboard, and you do you apply the formula. Before I go though, everybody understand I have a billboard here. I have a fixture. The distance is 20 feet. The billboard is actually 10 by 20, standing like this. And the light in the front of it is 20 feet away shining in it. And I need to use the vertical surface average method, average method, to calculate the foot candle at this billboard. Any comments, any questions about that? Shall we go do it? Okay, here's the, um, okay, so here's the method, that, this is again, the average method, lumens multiplied by coefficient of realization, CU, LLB, MF, all these factors plugged in, divided by the area, Sim very similar to the one that we did in chapter 6, 16,000 lumens coming out of a floodlight, multiplied by uh, beam neuralization factor of 0.25, multiplied by the other two factors, the coefficient of realization and LDD, as well as the guard factor or maintenance factor, 0.7. Divide everything by 10 by 20. Where does the 10 by 20 come? That's a billboard. Here's the billboard that we're trying to lift. Here's my uh, 10 by 20 feet. And I need to find the average. And there will be light, guys, all over there. Light all over there billboard and I need to find the average right that's what we're doing we're finding the average piece of cake any comments any questions and I'll slow down so you can write it one more time I'm shining I don't know how to draw in 3ds but my fixture is sitting <coughs> right in here and my fixture is actually shining at this area here right and the billboard is standing right in the front of it here Let's assume that this is how it's done, um, and shining it in, and find the average. Find the average. See how easy that is? Test the average on the test. Please bring these formulas with you. If I ask you to find the average, you just divide by the area. If I ask you point to point, you use the distance square, the height, or the mounting height squared. Really, the two formulas, one average, one point to point. For the vertical, as well as for what? The horizontal. And the distance, well, it would matter because based on the distance, you'll get different uh, uh, CPU. So it will matter. But we don't want to get it. The average method, we assume it's, yeah, we assume it's at, at a certain distance. That, that And all, also the... 16,000 are coming at a certain height of the picture, a certain distance and height. So there's more to it than the eye can see. So, but you don't worry about the height. In the average method, the height is already factored in this 16,000 moment. On the point-to-point -point method, the, the height is factored in, in the formula. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We know how to do that. That's it. That's called the vertical average foot candle. Now, Jeff, I want to remind you quickly, when you guys did for me the conference room, one of the conference rooms you guys did 
uh, calculation, horizontal calculation, point to point horizontal calculation, right? Right at two and a half. And then you did on the east and west wall. You guys remember how you picked the east wall and the west wall? And you did calculation, vertical calculation. These are called point to point. This one is at the average, the poor man's way. Just, I, care, I don't care about the point to point. Now, which one is superior? Can you guys tell me the point to point is superior to average? Why? Because it gives you the maximum, the minimum, the average, the max to minimum ratio. So you can see what's the ratio between the, the brightest point in your room and the, dumb, the dimmest point in your room. Any comments, any questions? Can I, have, uh, can I get you guys to understand that when we do vertical uh, surfaces like billboard, we have a fixture standing in front of it at a certain height. From that fixture, we, the fixture has a certain lumens given and uh, demutualization factor, all these are given. And all what you have to do when I give you the floodlight, the beam, and all this information, is plug it into that formula and find what's the average foot candle. What's the average foot candle? The, the aiming. Yep. The 16,000 will be based on the height and part to also the dis the heart and the distance. The heart and distance. This is the method that you guys don't use. We don't use. Average method is the poor man's way of calculating. Can I have Joe to tell me, yes, Chad? Average method is the poor man's way of calculating. What's the best way of calculating? Point to point method. Why? I have the max, the minimum, the average, and max to minimum, average to minimum, all these ratios. That's what you guys did with visual when we did visual. Did you see? Oh, by the way, do you know that Lumen method that you were dropping? Remember that Lumen method that you were dropping? with us that's based on the average method the lumen method and then you drop it into visual and you calculate the actual point to point method any comments guys any questions about that okay so that's what uh, really the the concept of these two chapters are two things floodlight there are two formulas one you calculate floodlight on a horizontal surface the average method the other one is calculating floodlight on a horizontal surface, the point-to-point -point method. The second thing is average light on a vertical surface, calculating on a vertical surface, the average method, and on a vertical surface, calculating the point-to-point -point method, the point-to-point -point method. Any comments, any questions? Any comments, any questions? So that's example number one that I have for you guys. Example number two is, um, the point-to-point -point method, and we have done something like this. This is nothing new. We have done something like this. I want to do the average method is piece of cake. We have done it, right? The, here's, here's the method. We have done it. You come over here. Um, here you go. You find the square foot of the area, 10 by, uh, uh, 10 by 20, and you multiply all these numbers, get you 10.1. I'm going to do the next and the last thing I'm going to do with this chapter, guys, is point-to-point -point method on a vertical surface. We've done that before. We've done it in a different chapter. So let's go and do it. Point-to-point -point method, example number two. Take this. I have a billboard right in here, and I have a lighting fixture here. Remember that, guys? We did the calculation for this, and it's 20 feet away. At distance, this is five because the whole thing is high, is, is right in the middle of it. And I need to find the foot candle right at the one point in the billboard. One point in the billboard, the point method. Look how easy that is. Here's how we do it. Coefficient of beam utilization. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, candela power multiplied by sine Q. Sine, remember that sine Q? Uh, multiplied by mounting factor, driving factor, all these factors. Uh, distance squared. This is the formula that you use for vertical point to point. Sine, not cosine. If it was a cosine, cube divided by the, the height squared, that's point to point on what? Horizontal. On the vertical, they use sine and the distance. Cool? Take this. Here's my distance. I need to find the distance. Pythagorean theory. I have 5 feet here, 10 feet here. Square the 20, square the uh, 5, right? And take the square root of them. That'll get you a distance of um, distance D of 21. You need the sine. Sine Q is the opposite over 
the hypotenuse, right? Remember that the opposite over hypotenuse is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine is 0.95. Sine inverse 0.95 gives you 72. So I have to find the angle. I found an angle of 72. One more time. This red stuff is to give me the angle and the distance. I'm 20 feet away from the billboard, and I need to find the calculation at 5 feet. That will give me, the whole thing is 10 feet. That will give me a triangle. I don't know if you guys can see that triangle here. A triangle here of that red triangle of 5, 10. I need the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, this is how Pythagorean for you to find the hypotenuse. Anybody does not know how to do that? Hypotenuse. Found it. I need the sine of the angle, the opposite over the adjacent. Here's what you get. And then sine inverse angle, get you an angle of 72. Done. You find the D and the angle, right? When you're, when you're done with these, then you go plug them. This is based on page uh, 9 point, page 194. Let's go to one page 194 and so find the 72 page, or pa I'm sorry, page, um, page 50. This is page 50. This information is coming from page 50. Let's go back all the way to that fixture in the toy. Yes, the famous page 50. So for page 50, guys, at 72, at 72, where's my 72? I go to 75 because I don't have 72. So I go to 75, so that will give me 194. So this is coming for, from that particular uh, 70, at se angle 72, page 50, give me 105. Okay? From fig, fig, this is supposed to be a fig, and this is supposed to be the angle. So at this angle, from this fig, at this page will give me 194. 194 multiplied by sine 72, 28.7, these are all given. Given factors divided by the distance, get you 0.23. Any question about calculating the foot candle on a vertical? point to point or average or in a horizontal point to point or average. Guys, it's so easy. There's two formulas for the vertical and two formulas for the average, for the horizontal. Two formulas for the vertical, two formulas for the um, horizontal. This baby that you're looking at right now, this baby here is for the av for the point to point on a vertical. Is there anywhere where you have all the um, there are four of them. I can write them for you. There are four of them. Really? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so far. There will be another two, and then you're done for the whole book. Really, the whole book is four or five formulas. Four or five, five formulas. The whole book, where care, we care guys about horizontal, point-to-point -point average, vertical, point-to-point -point average. Outside, next week, and actually this week, um, when we go to chapter 10, we're going to be doing inside a room. Then we take into reflected light from the ceiling and the floor. That's a new concept that we're going to introduce. Before I let this go, I want you guys to assure me, say yes, Chad, we know the following formulas and how to apply them. Here's formula number one. Right in here, I'm highlighting it. This formula is point to point on a vertical surface. Can you have thumbs up, Chad? Done. Let's go to the second formula that we do. Um, this formula is on a vertical surface on average method. Can I get you guys to highlight this one? Average. That's the average method on a vertical surface. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? Done. Thumbs up on that one. And the other one is this formula. Is This formula is... The vertical right in here, this is point to point on a horizontal. Point to point on a horizontal. Can you guys see the differences where you put the cosine instead of the sine, right? And I think I do have one we, where we did the average. Um, this one, this one, see these four formulas that we have to highlight them? This one is the average for horizontal. The average for horizontal. These are the four formulas. 
I will PDF this document as highlighted and I'll put it in the network for you. Cool? So you know the formulas I need to highlight. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? So that's basically what the, the whole formulas that we did. All of them are three. Here's one. I'm going to I'm just gonna go right. Well, I don't want to confuse you. Here's number one formula. This is average um, horizontal. This is point to point horizontal. And then we go, this is average vertical, right? So same like average horizontal, almost. And this is point to point vert. In one chapter, all these six chapters talk about four formulas. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? If I PDF it, put it in network, would you guys be able to, because I did not give you all the graphics, would you be able to look at it? Highlight these four formulas. We, I will ask you about these four formulas only. Horizontal point to point or average, vertical point to point and average or average. Any comment, any questions? Any comment, any questions? Shall we PDF it, put it in the network? Okay. So that's all what I have for you guys before our speaker uh, comes. Any comments, any questions? So that will wrap up chapter up to chapter eight. Chapter nine and chapter 10, we'll be go, going over it next week. Yeah, I mean, this week later on. Any comments, any questions about these four formulas? Four formulas. And before the test, um, hold on, Aaron, my friend, I would do a review too for you uh, to focus your mind. But if you understand these four formulas, you're good. That's that's really it. That's it. Very simple. These four formulas are the basis so far. We're going to add one more formula in chapter 10, and that will be the whole so-called lighting calculation book. And when you finish with your print chat, you never use lighting calculation by hand again, right? Right? We, not, we have softwares to use it and so forth. That's a list you forward, yeah. Okay. Any comments, any questions, guys, about lighting calculation? Any comments, any questions? What I suggest, my friend Andrew and Kerry and Darren, please read these chapters. They're one or two pages, guys. Read them one time in your life so you understand the concept behind all this lighting calculation. That's the goal of this class. After you read them, you understand them, then uh, you would never use them again. You start using, it's like doing arithmetics by hand. I don't know, do you, do you t take 53.56 and multiply it by 0.35 by hand, unless you're my wife? You know, that's called mental exercise. We've done that in the, which grade we do that one? Fourth, fifth? That's it. That becomes, guys, uh, basically exactly arithmetics that we know, but we don't use. I need thumbs up from all of you that we fully understand this. Cool? Okay. That's all we have. Thank you. <clears throat>